ready with me with the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose eyeshadow palette. I wanted to do another look with this palette. This is actually the last look I have to do to test out the palette fully. I only have one more shimmer to try and one more matte. So let's jump into it. Um, so I already primed my eyes with my Milani eyeshadow primer. Now I'm just going to set my eyes with my usual Marc Jacobs powder. I actually do have kind of a long day today. I didn't really sleep that well last night, but I might have fallen asleep this morning for like an hour or two. But it really was a struggle for me to fall asleep last night. Like I said before, like yesterday in my haul video, um, I did feel like I was sleeping better um, the past couple days. But like the combo that I did last night, I think it's just because I went to, went to bed too late last night. It just didn't help. So yeah, if I'm like a little bit softer or like a little bit low energy, that's why. So I'm going to jump into the palette very shortly. I just want to take a couple of browns first. So I'm just going to jump into my um, ColourPop palette, my everyday one that I use literally every day of my life. And I'm just going to clean off the brush because it's full of pink because I've just been using this brush for that shade basically like every time I do my makeup but I think I might take my other brush my other brush is, has pink on it so I'm just going to use I mean pink on it brown on it so I'll just use this one because this one would be easier to use okay so I'm just going to jump into Firefly right here as my transition shade and then I'm just going to take a little bit of wake up call and that's all I'm going to do before I jump into the palette. I was kind of thinking about using this like rust rose color in my crease today because it kind of goes with the red, but I don't know. I feel like it's going to be too, you know what? Maybe we'll do that instead. It'll be really pretty. I just feel like the color is going to be too loud in the crease. I don't want it to be like overkill because I do want to use the green in my crease today. So I didn't really want to do the pink underneath that because even though these colors are in one palette together they don't necessarily complement each other when you use them together so I'm not really sure I can also just lay the color down like really lightly I don't have to go like ham with the pigment I'm just kind of dying to use it in the crease so I think it'll be cool looking maybe I'll just use that I just didn't really want to experiment right now because I only have like 35 minutes until I have to be at work. I mean, until I have to, like, get out of the house for work. But I also didn't pack my lunch yet, so. Alright, so I think I'm going to try um, this shade. I just think it'll be really fun. So I'm just going to take a little bit and, like, build up the color gradually. So we're just going to take that, and I'm going to just lay that down in the crease right now. And I think that'll be pretty. I don't have to take too much of it. I just need to take enough in order for me to be satisfied. I'm just going to take a little bit more. Literally, I've only dipped into the pan like twice. So this is like the third time. And I think that's it. I actually think that these shades work better without a... Um transition shade the only reason why I laid down a transition shade at first was because I thought I was going in with the brown but it's okay and I do kind of like how this brush kind of diffuses the color a little bit more than like my usual crease brush so I'm kind of glad I used this one instead okay so I just took again one swipe in the pan and I'm just gonna start building up the color on this side but I'm glad I went with this shade because I really love it. So I'm just going to build it up a little bit more. And that's probably all I need. I'm just so tired today. Like, it was a rough night last night. I just could not fall asleep. It sucked. I just chugged a bunch of coffee, so hopefully it'll function because after work I'm supposed to meet Chris. 
but I don't know if I really want to. I haven't had a day home. Well, I had a day home on Monday night for my mom's birthday, so it's not like I haven't had a day home this week, but tomorrow and Friday I'm going to see Josh both days, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, we're not going far this time. We're just going into my town and getting, like, some ramen, so I don't know. I'll see how I feel. So, and then... I can finally try out this matte green shade. So I'm going to jump into the shade Aged Rose Stem. And again, the pigment is ridiculous. I don't even know why I dipped twice. I only needed to dip in once because I kind of want to build up the color gradually. But I think it'll be fine. And I'm just going to run that in my crease. So, you know, people were saying like, don't necessarily use these colors together because they can muddy up, but I don't know. I just felt like using them together, so. And it is muddying up a little bit, but I still like it, so. All right, let's just take a little bit on this side and see what happens. But yeah, the colors are... Definitely need more. Hopefully this works out because I really don't have time to take it off and redo my eyeshadow again so mm, it is getting quite muddy and it's not really showing up green it's showing up like a brown green so I just want to build it up more once I build it up more though it seems to be really bringing out the color more so yeah that's pretty I just need a tiny bit more on this side just to get it a little bit more pigmented. So I just posted a haul video. And the reason why it took me like a week to post it was just because, like I said, I was filming a lot of first impressions, like with this palette and like with the Beauty Bakery products. So now for the outer corners, I'm going to take my usual shade, which is Velvet Petals. It's a stunning outer corner shade. And I'm going to take that and put that right here. What I love about these two is that, like, they blend so well together that, like, it doesn't really take away from the other colors. They kind of just diffuse really nicely together. And that's why I really like these mattes. Like, this shade isn't, like, completely overpowering those shades, but... It's giving it enough of a definition to, like, be different, but, like, you know what I mean? So, I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I hate is when people say, does that make sense on YouTube? I'm like, is, are people like that uneducated, that people, like, don't understand what you're talking about when it's super obvious? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe people don't always know what someone's talking about in a video, and I'm just like, yes, we understand. We It makes sense, you know, like for me as like the more educated consumer, because I've been collecting makeup for years now, that it's like I'm kind of like more uh, well-educated about like how to be a smart consumer because, I mean, some people still don't learn, but like for me, like I've educated myself on what brands I want to support and what brands I don't want to support. So for me, I feel like I'm a little bit more of a aware consumer. I wouldn't say maybe like more self-educated. I feel like that's like, I don't know, kind of full of myself. But at the same time, I do feel like I am. So and then I'm going to take the NYX glitter primer and just put that on my lid. We'll talk about other things in a second. I just want to finish the eyeshadow first. Okay, and then for the lid shade, like I said, I really want to use the greens today, and I haven't used this shade yet on my lid, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to take the shade Thorn, which is this stunning green, and I literally only swiped it once, and now I'm going to... Oh, Lord Jesus... <laughs> That's one swipe in the pan. Like, that's ridiculous. I'm going to take a little bit more 
and put that over here. That's ridiculous how pretty this is. And it's like I barely dipped into the pan. Oh my god, that's stunning. It's like literally like liquid metal. It's ridiculous how beautiful they are. Like you barely need any of it and it just looks stunning. Okay, that, that shade that I put in my crease before came off a little bit pink, but I like it, so. And I wanted to use a lot of the shades in this look, so. I have no idea what um, shoes I'm wearing today, though. No clue. It is supposed to be colder today, so I was thinking about just wearing my boots and calling it a day. So I'm probably just going to do that. Because it's like 50 degrees today instead of 60. Like, it's not as warm today as it has been. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to pop on Hear Me Out on my brow bone from ColourPop. It's like my everyday um, highlighting shade for my brow, as per usual. If I could find my brush for that. It would be nice if I could find it. Okay, so just gonna, I'm just going to apply that. So I have to be out of work like a little bit earlier today, like 6.15, 6.20, just so I don't make him wait like too long. I always usually meet him on the days that I have to work till 7 because like I don't like meeting my boyfriend that late when I got out of work at 7. I hate like coming over that late at like 7.30. So I usually just meet up with Chris those days. And since I haven't seen him in a little while, I like kind of felt bad that I haven't. So, um... So yeah, just wanted to take a little bit more green and pop that right here. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the brown. See, I feel like the colors worked better just popping the shimmer on for some reason. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up the under eyes and then we'll jump into the face. If I could. Okay, so now I'm just gonna prep my face. I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime. Eat it a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Mineral um, Face Primer. I kind of want to use like more hydrating products with this foundation I'm gonna use because. I want to give the, I'll show it to you in a second, I'm just wiping my hands off. Um, I want to give the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation another shot. So I did use this all the whole time I was in Connecticut and I haven't used it since then. So the last time I used it was, uh, I think that's all I need, that should be good. The last time I used it was um, Friday, so it's been like a few days since I've used it last. I'm also going to try and apply left because um, I think it's such a full coverage foundation. I don't need as much as I think I do, so I think that's good. I think that's less than I've been using. I mean, I still think it's a lot, but yeah. So... gonna start buffing it in and I love the shade match like it's such a good match and I was thinking about using like my Anastasia foundation today or like you know other foundations that I haven't used too much lately but I was like let me use this because I'm probably not going to use this again this week so yeah um so I wanted to get serious for a second and talk about, I, I feel like I haven't really talked about this on my channel yet, and I feel like it would be wrong if people don't talk about this, but what do you guys think of the coronavirus um, 
epidemic that's going on. I would call it an epidemic because I was reading articles yesterday and I just need to vent for a second because I feel the way that this has all been handled has been absolutely obscene and it kind of really makes me fear for what is going to happen in this country because I feel that if this situation is not contained the way that it hasn't been contained this whole time, a lot more people are going to get infected that shouldn't be. And I was messaging my friend yesterday. He lives in um, Westchester or Portchester, but he, Portchester, he lives upstate really close to the most recent outbreak that is actually worse in New York City now in New Rochelle. They have to send the National Guard into New Rochelle. Like, this is serious, and people need to start taking this more seriously. I feel like some people are very ignorant about it. I feel like if you practice basic hygiene and you... Take it more seriously than it actually is. Yes, we have come so far um, medically, but that doesn't mean that we can still prevent every single disease, especially one that we don't know how to cure. And some people around me aren't really taking this seriously. And I know I, prob I probably don't have as much to worry about because I'm not in the age group that would affect it the most. But my parents are in their 70s. So I'm going to take care of myself by washing my hands, by not coughing into my hands. I cannot tell you how many people still do that. It is kind of ridiculous that, like, I had a customer come into the store, like, a couple of days back. I'm going to use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. And he came in, asked me, how's business going? Did you Have you guys seen, like, a dip in traffic since the um, coronavirus outbreak? And I said, yeah, a lot of people haven't been coming into the store, which I don't blame them for. I understand if people don't want to go out. It makes sense to me. They might shut down the mall at some point. Like, this is serious shit. So, um, so he asked me, like, was there a dip in traffic? And I said, yeah. And then he sneezes into his hands right in front of me. And I was like, that just goes to show you that people don't understand how to practice basic hygiene. I'm like... I should have just handed them the handed him the pure Purell bottle that we have and be like, "Here, can you please use this and desanitize your hands after sneezing into your hands?" It was so gross. I'm like, "What the heck?" Like, I like there that goes to show you that people don't practice basic hygiene. Like, for we're all guilty of it. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying other people in my family are perfect, but when you're in public, you need to practice basic hygiene, or I feel like we're all just setting ourselves up for failure. So, and I don't want to say doomed because I hate like using that kind of language, but there's like been so much all over the news, all over Colbert, all over the, you know, late night talk show. Um, late night talk shows, and there was one thing that Colbert said, that one person decided to disinfect their whole body with alcohol on the outside of their body. And it's like, dude, that does not help an airborne virus. I, I feel like people just don't take basic health classes anymore, but they say the critical things right now are your basic hygiene, 
if you wash your hands regularly, don't touch your face, don't touch your face. The only time I'm touching my face is when I'm doing my makeup and when I'm taking my makeup off at night because I have washed my hands and I'm washing my face. That's the only time I'm, I'm touching my face. I'm really not touching my face too much. And at work too, I'm really trying not to touch my face too much unless I have an itch. It's kind of hard not to touch your face, but I try my best on not touching my face at work. And if I do, I always wash my hands before so. I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I've been actually really enjoying it now. I think it sets my um, makeup really nicely. So, But if people can't wash their hands then I feel like people's own ignorance is what is going to get us into a much unhealthier situation than we have to be. And that's what people are keep on stressing is wash your hands, sneeze or cough into your own person, not into your hands. And if you do, wash your hands immediately afterwards. And... To just avoid crowds. And they say if they close schools to stay away from schools, to stay away from work, my um, they say it's actually essential for the spreading process to slow down if people close schools and offices. Because, like, offices, you're working in very close proximity to people. Same thing with schools. Like, I work with my coworkers in a pretty um, close space, but, like, we're not, like, on top of each other. We're all being very good about washing our hands constantly. Um, I just use my Maybelline um, brown liner. But, yeah, it is really scary how this whole situation is being handled. And I'm kind of getting really nervous about it. But at the same time, like, they say almost... I think 80 or 90% of Americans are going to be affected or infected by this disease. And that's scary. That's almost more than a third of the of the country. That's crazy. So um, I just used my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. And I'm sorry, I have to touch on this. And it is because I am a Democrat. But I have to touch on this. I have pretty much pushed aside a lot of things that the White House and Trump and Pence have been saying because I just laugh it off now because I'm like, nothing is going to change. But I think even Republicans are scared for the way that Trump is handling this whole thing. It is honestly appalling to me, and I think it is really turning a lot of people off, even Republicans, from the way that he is handling the situation. Um, and I'm just using the CoverGirl Super, Super Cyber Super Sizer Fibers Mascara um, for my lashes, and then I'm use the I'm going to use the la I see I can't speak because I'm so tired. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Discovery on my bottom lashes, but honestly, it, it he's kind of talking about this virus like it was like political numbers, like voting in a, an election or something. He's like, the numbers of this virus are good. They're, they're at a good number. I'm like, no. No number of a virus or people getting infected of a virus is good. And after he said that, like, two days ago, I'm like, are you serious? Like, like these are people's lives you're talking about. It's not like the healthcare system, which has been fucked forever, um, and the insurance companies just get their money. I think this is, but there's also some ignorant ass Republicans out there who think they're invincible and like won't, this, there's one self, there's one Republican that won't self-quarantine themselves. 
Um, I'm using Blossom and Copper Rose on my inner corners. Kind of using a combo of both of them because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use more. So I was like, why not just use both? Um, and I am not saying Democrats are perfect. I'm just seeing what, I'm just commenting on what I've seen and observed in the media. And I'm kind of shocked at the way that they are handling this. Like, again, not all Democrats are perfect. I'm not saying that at all. But the fact that Trump said that he might be exposed to this virus, and then he goes to Florida yesterday and shakes people's hands, I'm like, and he won't do anything to protect other people from the virus. I'm like, do you want to infect people? Like, he's saying, I mean, it's just a rumor that he got exposed but since this one politician came into, uh, I forget where, but he came into a public forum, I guess, for uh, the Senate or whatever. I'm not sure if it was the Senate or House of Republicans or whatever, House of Representatives. Um, but he came in and he refused to self-quarantine himself, so he exposed people to the virus that were around him, and they think that Trump was exposed to it from this politician. I'm not sure what his name is, but I'm like, they're saying, like, how important it is to quarantine yourself if you're infected, because they don't know, like, I don't understand why people think, and this is just a general comment, this is not, has nothing to do with this certain politician, but I don't understand why people think a virus isn't a serious issue. Like, it doesn't prove your manlyhood. It doesn't prove how strong you are. No matter who you are, you can't, you can't save yourself from a virus unless you take the proper precautions. I'm like, you obviously don't fucking care about the people around you or your own life if you're not going to take the proper precautions to save other people around you like it is honestly really scary i'm like kind of like shocked at the way people are acting about this like and then the whole thing in new rochelle the fact that um i'm just adding more of thorn and i'm sorry i just needed to go on a rant about this because i feel like if i don't it's gonna drive me crazy but the fact that the people in new rochelle did not, I don't think they even got their, themselves tested. They didn't quarantine themselves at all. And then they got other people infected because the person that got infected, which I think was the father, infected his family and then his family infected other people. And I'm just like, I'm like, all right. And now the National Guard needs to be sent in. And my friend, he's one of my really close friends. Like we've been friends for years and we try to meet in the city when we can. I'm using the NYX HD powder just to lightly set my face, but it is scary, you guys. Like, seriously, I can't stress enough how important it is to practice basic hygiene. Wash your hands. Just wash your hands. And I feel like we will be so much... That's basically all they're saying right now is how to prevent the spread of germs. I mean... Hello, that's the way you prevent the spread of germs anyway for any sickness. So, but they're also like saying to do that so you don't spread more common viruses like the cold or the flu. Because I think people that, um, I'm just going to grab the rest of my products while I'm talking. They say people that can be more prone to being affected. Uh, sorry, people are just texting me. So, um, I, it's just really honestly scaring me. Like, I don't know how people are acting about this and not taking it seriously. Um, I mean, it might not be serious now, but it's going to get serious soon. I feel like sooner rather than later. And that I, the reason why I've been so careful is because of my family. Like, I don't want my parents to get sick. Like, your parents, like, whoever's, like, around 60 or 70 are a lot more prone to getting this virus 
than like someone around my age. So that's why I've just been trying to be very careful. Um, but there's not as many cases in Long Island as there is in New Rochelle and the city. So Long Island might be safe for now, but not forever. So I'm just going to use um, ColourPop's uh, Private Party. But it's it's kind of scary the whole way this situation is being handled. I feel like Trump is not taking this seriously whatsoever, and it's kind of scary. And I don't want to sound like preachy or say if you support Trump that you're an idiot because you can support whoever you want to. I'm just saying just be observant and maybe... If you don't do it for me or if you don't do it for Trump, then do it for yourself to protect yourself. Um, so I'm just going to use um, Lovejoy by NARS um, for my blush. Sorry, I think my mom just got home, so my dogs are barking again. But that's all I have to say. But my friend, I texted him yesterday, and he told me that his office shut down. And that he said, um, and he didn't even tell me. He didn't tell me that he hasn't been working for like a week already. I was like, dude, I was like, are you okay? Like, what's going on? And he's like, um, I can't leave my, like, he's really not going to leave his house all that much. Um, and it's, it's scary shit. It really is. So I hope he'll be okay. And I just hope that we can prevent the spread of this virus that we don't know how to cure and people are acting like it's no big deal and I'm like it is a big deal like you need to educate yourself and not be ignorant about it just because yes we probably are a lot less prone to it being fatal to us but we can still get infected and then therefore infect other people meaning like my family which they say the people that are the closest to you and your own family, you can infect a hell of a lot more than if you're out at work. Like, actually wiping down shit and all that stuff, like, at work doesn't really do anything. But if you shut down the office, it actually will slow the spread of the virus a hell of a lot more than just wiping down counters and stuff. Because that doesn't really do much. I mean, since we're still having our store function like we still need to do those things to take the precautions but the biggest precaution you can take is just washing your hands so I can't stress that enough so for my highlight I'm going to use give me glow I'm going to use the give me glow highlight that I literally can't get enough of and this is obviously halo I can't wait to order more of these but oh my god they're so stunning this is literally one swipe in the pan and there it is on my face like, I'm going to take a little bit more because I want it to last today because, again, I am going to be out for quite a while today. So, I'm not sure what lipstick I want to wear today, though. I might just wear Belle and then just throw on a different lipstick later. I'm not really sure yet because I need to get the fuck out of here. I was talking for too long. I think I might just order food at work. I'm probably just going to order a sushi roll because I have no time to pack anything. Alright. Um, I just need to spray. I don't know why my nose is running so much. I just use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, and then I feel like my skin is not as dry. I think because I did use um, less foundation on my face. So I'm just going to brush through my brows. I'm going to be so late if I don't get moving in the next couple of minutes because, of course, I filmed like 10 minutes later than I wanted to, so yeah. I need to figure out what lip product I'm using because I literally have no idea. Oh my god, my nose is running like crazy.
Um, and then for lips, Know what lipstick I want. Let me just line my lips first. I'm just going to use Hawkeye from Kat Von D. I don't use this to support her anymore. I just use it because I have it and I actually really like these lip liners. So <sighs> honestly, if these anti vaxxers wake up though and realize if they don't get a coronavirus vaccine if one comes out. I mean, the people who do get vaccine will be fine, but the people that don't, <laughs> I don't know. But I am just hoping they come up or come or make a vaccine as soon as possible. And I'm hoping we're not all fucked, so yeah. I really don't know what lipstick I want. Oh my god. Okay, and then for lips, I'm going to take this little Pat McGrath lipstick in Flash 3. I really have been enjoying this one. I've been trying to wear it more often. I love the formula of the Pat McGrath lipsticks. They're so nice. This is definitely the one I've worn the least out of all of them. I'm sorry about my coronavirus rant, but please be safe out there. I have to go, though, because I'm going to be late to work if I don't. But, yeah. Please be safe out there. I'm going to go, and I'll show you the final look later. Love you. Bye. Right, my lips are kind of messed up now, but I just wanted to show you guys the final look after I came home. I'll kind of give you, like, a little bit of a review of everything. So, here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. I did switch my lipstick to um, Kat Von D's Vampira, but I kind of, like, started to wear off multiple times tonight because I did eat some ramen, and then I went to play um, some games with my friend across the street on where we went. When I came home, my mom was like, you really shouldn't be going out too much right now unless you're going to work or going to your boyfriend's house. I suggest you don't um, go out in public too much because um, they don't know if my mall's going to close. Like, it's gotten, there's been a lot more that's happening today that's gotten worse than better, so... Again, please be safe out there. Please just be aware of what's going on. I can't stress that enough to people. Um, but I think the foundation held up pretty well today. Um, I do like how it looks on my skin at the end of the night. It doesn't look as dry as it used to. I think it held up pretty well because it's been on my skin for about 11 hours now, I would say. And it still looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed that it's still there on my skin. I don't know what happened to my concealer, but yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off. Like, it, it's time to come off. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Sorry my lips got a little bit messed up, and it's not the same lipstick, but I need to take my makeup off. Like, it's been on way too long. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye!